Now I'm going to show you a technique that you can do using brass or metal polish and magazine pages to create interesting backgrounds. You can use them as decorative papers, scrapbook pages, all kinds of things using simple magazine pages. Anything that has a shiny surface to it will work. What we're going to be using to alter our magazines is a metal polish called Never Dull. I've tried other brass or other metal polishes and this one is really the only one that will work this well. You can see it's got a cottony sort of uh, cotton candy texture to it and this is the cotton that has been infused with the metal polish. So you can just pull it out and use it. I like to look for magazines that have bright colors or interesting textures or varied color backgrounds. You don't need to worry about the words or the images that are on there. I like to just look for a lot of color. For the first way that you can use the metal polish, you can take simple stickers like dot stickers. These I get from the office supply store. Uh, star stickers and use them as a mask. I'm going to just put them down, put different color dots. These are the little mini dots. They're hard to use because they're so small. And I'm just going to put them down on my surface. You can also use big dots. I like to just put them randomly around. And of course, stars. I'm a big star fanatic can never have too many stars in something, so we'll add a few stars. Then I'm going to take a little bit of my polish and just make a little ball of it and just start simply rubbing on top. And you'll see here it's releasing the ink from the magazine. So I'm just going to go all over my dots. You can also use stencils. So any stencils that you have, you can place the stencil down and just rub directly over it. I'm going to use, my, I'm just rubbing all around. And I like the painterly look that it gives. You can see here, it looks like brush strokes. Here I'm just erasing some of that text. I'm just going to go all over. And I like to turn my cotton over to the clean side to continue getting fresh polish on there to remove the ink. I think that's probably good enough. You may notice how some of the background of the magazine is starting to show through. You can see, see some of the text and the images from the background. If I find that later that bothers me, and it sometimes when it dries you won't see it anymore, but if I find that later it still continues to show through, I can just take a little bit of Never Dull and erase the background so that then that way when I flip it over you don't see it anymore. Now I can remove my little dots and you'll see here we've got little polka dots that we've made, bigger polka dots. And I don't know if I rubbed over the stars enough, but we'll see if that shows up. Yeah, a little bit. And if I wanted to, I could make that one show up more by wiping over it. You can place your collage element on and by cropping in to the, to the magazine page, you can see I can isolate the area that I altered and I can play with using her on this background. Maybe I want her that way, maybe that way. That's kind of interesting. And if I notice any words or anything that are still showing up, I can just take a little bit more of the Never Dull and wipe it away. I can collage this directly on to my surface um, just by using the gel medium as my glue. So you can create very interesting background pages simply by using sticky dots and stars and the brass polish.